ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Tonight we've been called by a customer uh, who's at a construction site and has a frameless dump trailer that has rolled over. Uh, something we see all too frequently, but uh, nobody was hurt. The tractor is still upright, but it does, the trailer is pulling on the truck. Uh, not quite sure of the situation. He said the trailer went down about a three foot embankment or something. Uh, tight quarters, so could be interesting. Anyway, we'll make it work. We always do. We'll figure out a way. Thank thankfully nobody was hurt. That's the main thing. Here we go. Okay, we're on site. I want to get a little bit closer here and see what so we got. We'll put some light on the situation. Brian? Yes, sir. I'm Hi. Ron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah, I, I hauled eight loads today. My last load, I started to dump it and completely. Well, let's see what we got here. Yep. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't have the, uh, it's not broke all the way loose is it oh it's got it bent even usually those a arms will break yeah well, it, it broke loose here but it didn't break i mean normally though they'll twist, they'll twist. they'll twist off yeah yeah oh there's a lot of tension there my friend yeah i mean i've got a k-12 saw if i can get it started it hadn't been running a while but i got one in there uh, so we, we ran a chain and uh, we got it around the front there with a boom on it. And he pushed that with that excavator. Of course, we could try to get as much fluid into barrels as we could. But I don't know if we might, I might be better off coming back here uh, to get the trailer. Let me see how much is still on it. scraped it out. Oh yeah, there ain't much left, is there? He scraped it out with that uh, excavator. Yeah, there ain't much left. He was going to try to set it up with that excavator and he couldn't do it. But... Really? I'm surprised. Yeah, it's, it's I'm... Uh, tipped. Uh, you know, it's sitting downhill a little bit. Yeah, that nose is. And, uh... We really need to get that, uh, need to get that nose up here. And try to relieve the pressure off your truck because yeah. normally like i said normally those arms break away and you don't have that problem right clean away yeah you've got to worry about the cylinder but you've already done that for us yeah. so yeah. <laughs> what do you think talon is ethan staying in the truck or is he coming around okay oh it does have one of them well it ain't broke all the way though, look. It's still got the pin partially in it. I wonder, hey Talon, I wonder if we could manipulate this arm right here mm -hmm. enough to relieve the pressure on it and disconnect him okay, and get his truck out of here. That's then, all then all we've got to worry about is the trailer. Get well, I think it'll be if we can do that if we can pop that fifth wheel loose by manipulating this some um, I think that's what we need to do don't you mm -hmm. my only concern is can I drive in on this safely the excavator man was here and he said uh
I think we need to take some of the tension off of it and try to do it that way. It's even got the fifth wheel uh, stops bent and broke loose on this side where it keeps it from tilting on the front. Oh, it, yeah. It's got that front one broke. Because it broke down? Yeah. Well, it's taking the rail and tweaking it over here too. Yeah. There's a lot of twist on that rascal. So, we either cut the arms or we uh, manipulate this and try to free the arm. It's going to go pow whenever it comes yeah. loose Yeah. because it's under a lot of stress. Under a lot of stress. I still think that's our best option though. What's that? Which one? Manipulating the arm? Yeah. Trying to control the arm, take some of the pressure off of it and get, yeah. get your truck out of here. Then all we got to do is fold that arm up, tie it in place and uh, rig up and roll it over. Hey, Ta uh, Ethan, Talon, I think while it's up in the air, this nose is, let's go ahead and get a chain or a strap around it because it's already got us a good, good place to run something around. Oh, shoot. Sidewall's bent. It, this trailer's gun, done. It's got it Z'd, Z'd right there. I know the heavy end's down there, but we need to keep this end up too. Yep. We'll get something up here and while it's in the air. I wonder if I'd be better off. Well, no. I'm going to say, I wonder if I'd be better off to come raise the nose of the trailer to relieve some of the pressure off of that yeah. before I don't know looks pretty rough don't it bub Come on, monkey man. You got this. Need to change that snatch block or yeah. fix it. Uh oh. What? You need to go up the other way, Bubba. So that it comes out the top and over. Oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> That's all right. Just take one end out. Take this, this one, and come up through there. Can you grab it? No. This is where the. Huh? Yeah, well, I had some zip ties on them. There, we go. there you go. That's the way to do it. It's been a while. That's all right. We don't have these in the office. Ah. 
We can probably get by with just spiking the one. You want to just do one? Yeah. There you go. This is not a good we'll platform. Cool. And we will have to chain this since it's a yeah, both of them air ride. Can you reach it? Working on it. Got it. And got it. All right. We're good there. That ought, that ought to work around the front. Well, yeah. no, we gotta go. We gotta go both ways with it. Yeah. Yeah, we're good on this one. Yeah, we're good back here. Let me get the boom swung. Let me get the boom swung around. I think we can get it from the ground. Ethan, what? help me straighten it out, please. What? It's a work truck, dude. Okay, I don't want to pull anymore until we get chain on oh, there you go. yeah got your own little ladder system there <laughs> nice trailer if it wasn't twisted on the nose of the trailer and blue's going to go right here to hold this solid uh, utilize that see this is what that zip ties for so you, you fish it through that hole that. you Ooh. fish it through the hole and pull actually a viewer gave me that idea very you're good hired. idea. Very good when idea. You're watching this, you're hired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, if it works. What? We need to grab the box and bring the box to us. And we need to lift it a little bit. Go over the top. Because there's a there's a uh, bar inside that we can grab a hold of.
doesn't go around. What's the cable going over the edge of the trailer? What do you need? I'll get it, I'm right here. Ethan, grab uh, like a 5 16 chain and let's hook it into that fifth wheel handle because I don't want anybody standing close to it when this pops loose. There's some in here. I don't know. We might. Let's see if this works to get this out of here first. <coughs> Clear? Yeah, All right, come on down. I 
there, first step. All right, right there. Okay, all right, yep. Just don't want anybody getting hurt. Yeah, we need, we definitely need the light, but he's going to have to get out of here. Yeah. We may actually have to have the little Pete to pull this out from under it because it's wedged it's wedged in there and it's not on the ground. Yeah, I got a long chain. I just grabbed the yeah. first five sixteenth I could. Yep. Here, you want to take my light and watch it? Yeah. Hold on, Dad. Hold on. Well, have Talon watch that bar. We don't really trust it. How's it looking? Okay. You've achieved lift. What? You have achieved lift. Well, I'm spiking it on the back. Yeah, I know, but I mean you're lifting the front. And there went the APU. So I don't leave. You're lifting the front yeah. of what? The trailer. I was just letting you know. Good job. Staying uh, crowded. Yeah. That hole ain't even placing or nothing. Cool. So, like, well, like I told you, I didn't know because I didn't know how it's made. Pushing the truck forward. Yes, that works. All right, see if you can pop that fifth wheel. Yes. Oh. It's already pulled forward a little bit. Get it? Yeah, it looks like it's already pulled forward. Okay. I tried. I know. We need a yanking rope. We gotta come more this way because I think that was part of my issue. Alright, ready? Yeah. Three, two. There it went. There it goes. Yeah. Could have got a little closer. <laughs> he wanted us to work. I wanted to stay back so we could see and have fun.
I knew she was gonna go pop. She went pop! Getting just everything at the right angle. I got it. I got it. Hello. Hey, what you know? Oh man, he just ran over my camera. Yeah, it's a GoPro. Well, we didn't get what I'd hoped for to begin with. I really wanted to line under it. You know? Now binder that. Are we good? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, what is that? That's a pin out of that. The, oh, it went. Boop. That's what that was. Uh huh. Whenever that. Whenever that. Yeah, it hit that trailer and ricocheted off of it. And it landed over here. No, I brought it over oh, here. Okay. Got it out of the way. I was about to say, that, that had to have been a perfect just thread to hang this up. Hang it up on blue. Okay. I want a catch on blue. Rig me a oh. catch right there. Just right here. You understand why we want to catch on blue? Um, Maybe. can we not go up here to the arm here go around that pin right there okay. this that pivot pin that way you don't get it caught in there go right around that pivot pin 
Just like that. gonna have to we're gonna have to strap those real good and then we'll have to fork inside of here I'm not quite sure with that in the way though how that's, that's gonna work Probably one of these. Yeah, yeah. boy, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to lift it. That's for sure. But well, I mean, when we're towing it, are we towing it? All right, here, somebody get in and get that, uh, get that one undone, the white one.
Pratt fall. Pat fall though. Uh, thankfully I didn't fall. Not yet anyway. Night's still young. I love, what did we do before rim slings? That was our axle chain. Hey Talon, yeah. how tight is that chain and binder under there right now? Is it? All right, so. Yeah, I crank. Well, hold on. Oh, okay. I see what you did. Uh, well, we can take some chains around the legs on each side, and I'll split the split it and lift it and see if this will cradle more, and then we can get our chain. Yeah. Here, Talon. Well, it's not if this will go all the way up against the bottom we don't want that chain pinched in just go sense. just go right around that leg it's not gonna take much you know what i'm saying all right same thing over there grab us a chain and go right around the leg and run that blue line into that leg ah, we're gonna lift you're just gonna try to yes i'm gonna try to straighten this out so okay Hard hat, you don't have, okay, you got a line right behind you. Coming up on, the GoPro fell over. The guy ran over it a while ago with that little, uh, oh. you, he ran over the daggum thing. Is it still working? Yeah, it's still working.
didn't do anything, did it? Well, that's loose enough to where you can get it out now. Yeah, go ahead and take that loose. So what are we doing about this? Give me a second. Well, what's the plan here? Tow this to the shop. Okay, so we are towing it. Yes. And then, what do we do about that? That is a very good question. Normally those aren't in the way. Normally those are gone. Well, that's that's what I'm worried about is that being torqued that hard. Those well, dolly no. legs are going to be down really, really we, far. We can't use that. Yeah, I know. Um, we we still need the well talon shoot. I'm sorry, we, we still need that apron chained up. Yeah, we still need it chained up. That, that's my bad. Yeah, go ahead and get as much as you can out of that and turn that binder the other way around. Oh, the way I'm pulling down on? Yeah, where it's pulling down. They did that just to hold the cylinder in place. Yep. Which it worked. But it's a little maker. Huh? Put it a bit. Yep. That's why I asked you to turn around, please. Assuming we'd be towing with a little peak. Do what? Assuming we'd be towing with a little peak. Yes. Yeah, the. So I can get it back here and try them. Just give me a second though, because I don't want you off on that side. Let me get it straightened out once Talon gets underneath, out from underneath it. I'm just coming right back this way. Right here in line with your outriggers. That's what I'm gonna try, yes. Yeah. You good? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring it up. To me. Think we should stop. Here, wood block. Wood block me. Probably so, yeah. Oh, wow, that's slick. don't want to but if we had to Talon we could always uh, sling it from the boom I mean I really really don't want to do that you know what I mean all right we good Can you, here, hold on. There you go. Go ahead. Oh. Careful. 
I started to throw it and I So do you want me to go ahead and get in line with it? Give me just a second, let me get out of it. Okay. I was gonna say if I get straight in line with it, it's it's uh, packed enough to where I can make it's, it. It's what now? I said the ground is packed enough to where I can make it. Yeah, I just don't want to get my I want to get myself out of here mm -hmm. since I'm in so close. Careful, the old mule might kick back. I was really worried worried about that earlier because he was pulling, and so I was looking to see if the jaws were unlocked, and it went pop. It didn't break loose. But it popped. I pop. jumped. Oh my gosh, I jumped. That ought to be fun footage, too. Coming out. I'm going to stay close enough to where I can still lift if I need to. how to get it all hooked up and safe but it's gonna be a slow trip back to the shop all right ladies and gentlemen we are finally out uh, it was challenging but uh, with a few little jump scares here and there but uh, we made it nobody was injured that's the main thing as always, thank you for watching. God bless.